Okay. So. <clears throat> independent art. Indie music, indie films, all that good stuff. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I, uh, you know, look at it in the same vein as like a dime store novel. It's not necessarily, you know, better or more pure than the big major label music. I mean, a lot of the people that people that uh, that are defined as indie aren't actually technically indie if you go by the label. You know, I mean, like, uh, you know, it's like it's it's almost as if. Like, uh, like George Lucas, when he started making films, he didn't want to become that guy, you know, working for the studio, you know, uh, he wanted to make his own movies, you know, he wanted to make an independent filmmaker, that's what American Graffiti was, that's what THX 1138 was, you know, I mean, American Graffiti, not so much, but you know what I mean, so, like, you know, he made Star Wars, and it was so successful, this independent independently skewed film that he became a studio in his own right. This independent music genre film not so much, film's not there yet but this independent music genre has become the beast it despises you know, it despises you know, like, the glamour and the and the, 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 the stardom of the, of the Katy Perry's and the Lady Gaga's and the you know, and Justin Bieber's in the music world. Um, to me, like, if you try, if the, if you try that hard for authenticity, it, you lose something. You know, I mean, what what one thing that those pop artists have over these indie artists is that, like, you know, they're not about you know pleasing the crowd. It may seem like it, you know, I, I and mean, as we can tell from Miley Cyrus, that's not true at all. If you know, I mean, obviously no one liked that performance. I mean, there's no way you could. Um, Plato said, "Plate." Said, Plato said, "Taste is indisputable," but uh, there was no taste there, so it's completely disputable. Um, but uh, no, you know, like what separated folk Dylan from rock, from electric Dylan, is not. Then he became less pure because he left the the pure music, the folk music, which was the indie music of the day. It's not because it's not that he became less pure; it's that he became, you know, more carefree. He said it that you know he was so much older than he's younger than that now. And the art isn't about trying to you know fight the system. You can make it like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with however you do your art. There's an interesting thing is uh, art with a bad focus. You know, art always has the correct focus. Because it's the artist's focus. You know, and it's subjective, you know, for us. But to the author, it's correct. You know, but... I mean, Dylan didn't lose any authenticity. You know? People, I know, uh... Some people are probably freaking out because Mumford & Sons is getting big. And they're huge, actually. They're not getting big. But, you know, they're, they're decrying the, you know, the popularization of an uh, indie band. It's not a bad thing at all. It, it gives them an opportunity to grow. I mean, the Beatles started out as imitators. And if you listen to, like, I Want to Hold Your Hand and those, those types of songs, I saw her standing there, Misery. I mean, those are basic songs. Yeah, they had funky chords, but they were basic. They were imitating Buddy Holly and the Crickets. They were imitating Chuck Berry. They were imitators. But as they became famous because of their catchy tunes, they expounded upon their success do things they couldn't do otherwise, you know? I mean, imagine with the money that Mumford is getting, the, the, the production value of their albums would skyrocket. They could if they do it right, you know? A lot of people are going to complain about Mumford saying, you know, that they want, that they're trying to do some more electric stuff on their third album, uh, you know? But that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's, I mean, you can only stay in one place for so long as an artist, you know? Again, back to Dylan. He said, you know, uh, if, as long if you're an artist, you know, to stay in one place for so long, you know, that, like, you know, as long as you're in a constant state of becoming, you're sort of be all right. So, you know, that's my stance in any music. I mean, it's not bad. A lot of it's good, but.
you know. I don't know. It's kind of. It's good though.